Hey, John Hickok here. We're going to do a slugfest with the DP-12. This is a uh, really cool shotgun. You guys should have seen this around a lot. Uh, I've always kind of liked it. Of all the shotguns in this category, and by category I mean, of course, uh, these higher capacity shotguns, um, especially the ones that operate like this, that have two magazine tubes. Um, this one holds 14 rounds total, seven in each tube. Did I get the math right? I think I did. Um, I prefer this over the KSG and even some of the magazine fed shotguns. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty nice actually. And the only thing I will say about it, well, I guess there's like two big drawbacks of this gun. And don't worry, we're going to shoot a bunch of slugs. Just want to get my opinion of this gun <laughs> out of the way. Um, is it's really heavy. I mean, it's a super heavy gun, um, but also makes the recoil lighter. Of course, you always get that added bonus, but very, very heavy. And the one other drawback I think that's big is, yes, you do get two rounds per pump. It's a double barrel shotgun. You know, that's what's neat about it. It makes it kind of crazy. But, uh, you know, in a tactical situation, if you were to use one of these, you would want to make sure you were really familiar with it because it does take some getting used to that you have two trigger pulls. Um, if you fire one and then you try to load it again, it won't move. You know, and I feel like uh, that would make that would make me panic or something, you know, because I'd be used to boom, you know, and rack a new one in. It almost would be better if it was designed to just allow you to rack um, a live round out or something. But I don't know. That might not make sense either. But that's two of the big negatives. Other than that, it seems like a pretty solid shotgun. Before I start blasting away at everything over there, of course, we appreciate you. Okay, let's shoot some giant bullets. Uh, let's see, let's uh, start out in some of these two liters. Takes them out pretty good. Good, the ones on the top. Uh, let's, get the, let's go ahead and shoot the target. This thing feels like it goes forever. Oh, I will say another thing about this uh, shotgun that, that can be a little bit awkward is loading it and loading it safely. Now, the absolute easiest way to load it is to turn it up like this or to hold it out like that, you know, but then you're kind of, you know, and it's, of course you can see it's unloaded right now. But when you do that, you're kind of, I don't know, it's probably okay, but it's really not advisable to point a gun straight down because if it fired right now a lot of stuff is going to come back uh, up in my face very very possibly so one way to do it is of course if we're on a table it'll be different is just kind of flip it upside down like that kind of cradle it and i like to grab two at a time drop them in there and then with two fingers you can pop them in pretty quick now this is not exactly the most tactical reload because you know, like if I were to uh, try to get this gun into action really quickly, wouldn't be the easiest thing in the world world to do. We'll try it though. Once I get it fully loaded. All right. So let's say I'm loading this thing. I just loaded it. And now I've got to fire it really quick. So it'd be something like this. See right there, just that little amount of pressure, <laughs> I fired one shot and I was trying to rack it again. So that, that can get a little bit confusing. Uh, before I forget though, I wanna also remind you guys of one of our other supporters of the channel, appmex.com. Uh, they're a great website. You can find all sorts of uh, great prices on gold, silver, 
copper, you know, basically they're a precious metals dealer and a lot of neat stuff, uh, modern coins, old coins. Uh, check them out, apmex.com, A-P-M-E-X. So, to my point, it, uh, you know, it can be a problem getting used to that two trigger pulls per pump action. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot some stuff over here on the other hill. I'm going to start with uh, the pig up there on the top left. All right, move on across. Oh, must have hit a red uh, spray paint can up there. Unless a metal turkey bleeds. All right, let's uh, pull it on the square up there. Or let's miss the square up there. Okay. Load it again. The trigger is uh, pretty heavy on this thing. I have a tendency to want to kind of pull it down just a little bit. All right. Load this thing back up, but I always kind of viewed this gun as more as just something for fun than something I would actually, you know, really use to protect myself. But I have thought before. I mean, you know, if if you trained with one of these a lot um, exclusively, and this was like you were going to be the the shotgun guy in some unit or something, and you practice with it all the time, and you knew how to load it effectively and tactically and all that good stuff then uh you know i mean it is a 12 gauge shotgun that holds 14 plus two rounds and uh you have that those reliable two shots every time you you know rack some new rounds in so i mean it definitely has uh has some some positives it's just it's just so unusual and it's so different from what we're used to and a shotgun, you would have to really stick with this thing if you were going to use it for anything really serious. All right, let's uh, let's shoot this pumpkin. Two-liter got away. Oh, we got a bucket over here that might have water in it. I believe it did. All right. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Uh, let's see if I can take out some of those turkeys over there. Okay, for the last loading, before we wrap up, I'm going to see how quickly I can dump all these rounds out. Now, if you might have noticed through, through some of that shooting, there was some, there were some of the shots sounded louder than some of the others. It's because um, somebody who put shells in here mixed in different power factor of slugs. We won't name any names, but uh, they're around here. All right, let's get all the same. I'm just going to do the low recoil ones. So I think there's more of those anyways. See how fast I can crank them out. But shotguns in general are just a lot of fun. I always have fun with them. And uh, one of the, the cheapest uh, ways, to, well, not necessarily the cheapest, but you get a lot of bang for your buck, no, no pun intended, uh, with shotguns, especially if you're shooting just regular uh, bird shot, because you can get that stuff still for the price of like nine millimeter or something and you're uh you know it's a lot of recoil it feels like you're really doing something you know what i mean does that make sense 
All right. This might be hard to have all the same types of ammo. There's a few more of these in here than I thought. Let's see. Yeah, those are all the more powerful ones. This one's a little recoil. All right, so we might have to have some of these that are not. Let's see. Not missing one. So I at least want like you know the two that come up together to be the same. Okay, so the first couple are gonna be the hottest ones. The first four. Yeah, okay. Alright, so here we go. First four are the hotter ones, and we've got 14 rounds. Uh, I'm just going to put them into the burn barrel and see how quick I can crank them out. All right, here we go. Get a good stance. All right. Not too bad. Made a lot of dust. Wow, look at those holes. <laughs> Get a close up on that. There were some big holes. That's a lot of, that's an awful lot of firepower um, in a very short amount of time. And that's the beauty of a shotgun. Kind of one of those uh, best kept secrets, as a lot of people will say. But GP12 is, is a lot of fun. Um, you know, I don't have training or tactical military experience or anything like that, but just based on what little I know. It seems to me like the unusual nature of this gun, even though it does have great capabilities, kind of keep it from, you know, being a super relevant um, shotgun for like official, like police or military use. And maybe that's the wrong way to think about it. I don't know, but that's just kind of, you know, based on what I know about it, the way I see it, but it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to shoot. It's got this little spring kind of action in the uh, buttstock, so it, it handles the recoil pretty well. Also being so heavy, it seems to work reliably. You know, I mean, standard manufacturing does a does a good job. Anything I've shot from them seems like really really quality um, stuff. And I like guns that are thinking outside of the box. Well, the people who make them are thinking outside the box, not the guns. The guns don't don't think too much. Um, well, I appreciate you guys checking out the video, and see you next time. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to Im improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol, uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastol.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the Internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter. The real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.